Hey guys, in this video I'll be discussing the solution to the problem sum of maximum weights from at for a beginner contest 214. So in this problem we're basically given a weighted tree and a cost function f of u comma v which is basically the maximum edge weight on a path between u and v and since this is a tree there is exactly one path between any two given nodes. Our task is to find the sum of this function over all pairs of nodes in this tree. So let, this is the sample input 2 and I'll show you how we get the answer of 76 that is given here. So let's count the contribution of each edge to our answer. For 14 we can see that this component from every node in this component, there's a path to node 5 and all of, the, all of them go over this edge which has a weight of 14 and since it's the maximum edge weight in the tree, we add 14 into 4 to the answer because there are 4 paths which cross 14. Now let's consider edge weight 5. And we have we have three nodes, one, two, and three, which is this component. And every node in this component has a path to node four, which crosses this edge with weight five. And since it's the maximum edge weight, we add this to our answer. So that will be plus three into five. Now this edge weight of two. For this edge weight, we have these two nodes and a path from them to node 3 exists with where the maximum edge weight is 2. So then we add 2 into 2 to the answer. And now this last edge weight, which is 1, there's just one node here which has a path to 2. So we just add 1 into 1 to the answer which is basically 56 plus 15 plus 4 plus 1. So which gives us 76, which is also the sample output. All right. So how do we actually solve this problem? In problems like this, we want to count the contribution of each edge to our answer. Just like I showed you, let's see how we can actually do this. So let's start considering edges in non-decreasing order of weight. And let's delete all of these connections initially. Now we have an edge with weight 1. So what we want to do is we want to take this component with node 1 and this component with node 2. And we know that 1 is the greatest edge weight that we're considering now because we're processing them in increasing order of edge weight. So any no any path going from a node in, in one of these components to the other one, for example, a path going from one to two, will definitely cross this edge which has a weight of one. And since one is the highest weight we're processing till now, we know that the cost will be one. So we want to take the sizes of these components and multiply them together along with multiplying them with 1. So that basically gives us 1 into 1 into 1. And we've counted the contribution of this edge weight to our answer. Now what we want to do is we want to join these two components. Now in increasing order, our second edge weight would be 2. Now let's count the answer. Let's count the contribution of this edge weight to our answer. We can see that when we try to join these two components, we have two connected components here. When we try to join these, there are two paths which will go through this new edge that we'll add. That will be from 2 to 3 and 1 to 3. So we basically add 2 into 1 into 2 to our answer because we have two paths, 2 into 1, 
the product of their component sizes and the cost is 2 per path so we, so this edge contributes 4 to our answer and then we connect these two components now let's consider edge weight 5 we can see that we join these two components now and so the contribution of 5 to our answer would be 3 into 1 into 5 because we have 3 paths crossing this new edge that we'll add and let's then join these two components now to count the contribution of edge weight 14 to our answer we have these two components again that we have to join and we have four nodes in one and one node in the other so it contributes 4 into 1 into 14 to the answer which if you sum up you will get 76 and the way to do this is to use union find disjoint sets so if you don't already know what it is i'll post a link to a tutorial in the description but it basically allows us to keep information about the size of components and add edges and then even update the information about the sizes of components so we'll just read in our edges we'll sort the list according to non-decreasing order of edge weight after that we account for the for each edge weight in our answer which is the product of the component sizes and then we join these two components and then we finally print our answer so thanks for watching um this is pretty it it wasn't that hard of a problem but yeah it's a cool problem i hope you enjoyed it and let me know in the comments below what you'd like to see next